Next, I'll be showing you how to use shapes and other uh, geometries to create compound shapes for your 2D objects. Uh, this can be really helpful for our laser cutting or just general ideation. So we have a lot of different kinds of shapes. As you know, we have things like circles, ellipses, squares, and Rhino can accommodate almost all of those in a specific or roundabout way. Uh, we can start with the most basic one, rectangle. So you'll see we have a few options. Our default uh, rectangle command will ask us to set the first corner of a rectangle and then the opposite corner. Again, like any Rhino command, you can specify length. So say we want 35 on one end and 27 on the other end. That will create a 35 by 27 millimeter rectangle. Um, additionally, you can do three point if you want just a tiny bit more control. Again, you will place your origin point and then your first point, or excuse me, second point, and then your third point. That way you don't have to just do the diagonal setting of your rectangle. As you noticed, um, with three point, you also have the option to have a non-orthogonal rectangle. So instead of putting my second point flat here, we can put it like here, and it'll still grow out like that. As I mentioned, you always have the options to adjust your um, shapes as in a second menu option, so we're going to do rounded. So this will be a regular two-point rectangle. So you set the uh, point across from it, and then you can bring it in to adjust how rounded the corners are. This can also be done with another command later on. That's one of the great things about rhinos. There's always a few different ways to do everything. So at its most extreme, this will be a full circle on the ends, and at its least extreme, just, you know, a little half a millimeter curve on the inside. Use that to your advantage. Um, I'm going to select all, command A, and delete these. Next is our circle command. Uh, the default will ask you to start in the center, and then drop a second point. Uh, the second point right now is the diameter. However, you can change that to other things. So, like, say I wanted a diameter of 40. I'll type in 40. And now I have a diameter circle of 40. Um, or you can do the radius. Say I want a radius to be 40. There you go. Or what's even cooler is you can set specific circumference in areas. So if I want my circle circumference to be 40, there's that. That'll do all the math for you so you don't have to bust out that pen and paper. Uh, you'll notice you have more options here, two and three point. Uh, three point is a fun one if you need to match your circle to something. So you'll set your first point, which you'll, you'll notice is a, cur is a corner on your circle. And your second point. And then the third point is pretty much every possible circle combination to have your three points have a circle drawn between them. And you can notice how this will change the shape and size of your circle. Cool, right? Uh, you have a lot of uh, cool things for that, so keep that in mind. Um, you have your ellipse tool, which is like a circle, um, but longer. You can click your center. It'll ask you about the end of your first axis, so we're going to make this one 11, and straight up here, and the other one 40. And out here, so whoops, I don't know why that, my mistake. There we go, there's our ellipse. Uh, you have a, a lot of options again where you can just set things like ones like that, so play around. Um, and say you want to make a hexagon, we can do that. There's a tool called Polygon where, so we want the number of sides. So you can set as many sides as you want, but right now we're doing hexagons. So we will enter six, and we will click here. And again, you can make it whatever side you want, or you can, instead of going from the center, you can set the corner as well and set um, how long you want your sides to be. 
pretty handy. You can make all kinds of uh, dodecahedron, things like that. Very cool.